This is the North Faces Base Camp Voyager 42 liter duffel bag and backpack combo. We're gonna do a quick overview of its features, its materials, its organization, and what I think some of the pros and cons of it will be covered as I go over the bag. So let's hop into it. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I picked up a Patagonia Black Hole MLC 30 liter bag as my everyday purpose bag a few weeks ago. And this was one of the main contenders that I was comparing those two bags to. And uh, I ended up picking this bag up um, after I got the Patagonia because this usually retails for $135, but I found a used one in really good shape on REI's website and I got it for about $90. At that point, I thought it'd be worth picking up, see how I like it, do a review of it, and then be able to compare those two bags a couple months from now. So. Getting into this pack itself, um, like I said, it's the 42 liter version. The main differences between that and the 32 and the 62 liter versions they offer is that the 32 liter has a side water bottle um, pocket, the 42 and the 62 do not, but the 42 and the 62 also have these duffel style carry handles that the 32 liter does not. This color is their taupe green, and it honestly is what caught my eye to it in the REI I was shopping at. I saw it just looked really good with that and the matte black logos, and that kind of helped me decide to pick this bag up and see what it was all about. The material is all recycled, so the North Face cares about environmental purposes. Um, the handles on it are all padded, which is really nice. And then it has a 15 inch laptop storage compartment on the uh, top of this bag here. Um, that is actually one of my cons about this bag so far because I have a 15 and a half inch laptop and it doesn't even come close to fitting in here. I've even seen uh, some people say that a 15 inch laptop won't fit in this compartment either. So I have not used this pocket at all. Um, hopefully the North Face actually makes their laptop bags um, a, little bit, a little bit more compatible for what laptops are on the market right now. But that is a feature that it has. On the four sides of the bag, they have, like I said, a padded handle on every single side. On the foot side of the bag, there is one fairly large pocket where you can have a mesh organizer and you can even fit a full size pair of like size 12 boots. I fit in here no problem. And this is also the pocket that this bag can smash down into and uh, store itself within for traveling purposes or just for storage. Um, the entire bag can pack down to be about that small. So you don't need to take up the entire space like this. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to get stuff down in there, but it's not too bad, honestly. And I really like having the option of a shoe storage um, compartment on a duffel bag, especially like I said, if you have muddy boots, you don't want to get the rest of your gear all wet or muddy. So that is very nice. On the opposite short end of the bag, you have another pocket that has a weatherproof uh, resistant over the zipper. So that zipper should not get too wet, which is nice. And this pocket just goes from top to bottom, side to side, the length and width of the bag. And you would be able to fit um, any extra accessories that you have, like phone, wallet, keys, um, a notebook, something small like that, maybe even a Kindle. And then underneath this handle here on the longer side of the bag is actually a pretty sneaky little admin pocket that has a key ring holder in it. And the North Face's website even calls this as being just large enough for a passport and more sensitive items that you're traveling with. And since this pocket's pretty well hidden, uh, you'd probably be pretty safe putting valuables in there. And then the fourth side is just a handle. There's no pocket or organization on that side. Um, there are these little buckles on the sides that cannot be stowed, and this is for the backpack attachment, which we'll go over in a second. I do wish that these could be tucked away, kind of like the Patagonia's MLC option can, just to clean up the look of the bag. But then you also have this ballistic nylon um, running all the way around the bag that has multiple attachment points on it. So you can put some carabiners, um, you can tie any kind of paracord, anything like that onto the side of your bag for organization. And in fact, I'll talk about it a little bit more later, but I have a shoulder strap um, that I use this bag, like a messenger bag for, and those carabiners just strap onto those. So that's uh, nice. So getting back to the back panel of this pack, you have the backpack strap options that just tuck away. And they're made of the same material as this kind of like nice nylon sheen. Um, 
Again, saying that all this material is recycled and every part of this bag has some amount of weatherproofing to it, so it should be water repellent if not waterproof. These backpack straps are padded, but they're probably not thick enough to really carry a heavy load for a long amount of time. Maybe just thinking like a short jog to the airport, trying to catch your flight kind of a thing. And they just have uh, plastic buckles, like I said, that clip down into the bottom of the pack. And this actually brings me to one of the uh, design faults I see with this bag, is that if you're using it like a backpack and you have these straps out, there's no way to stow or organize these pretty long grab handles on the side of the bag. They're just gonna be flopping around. There's nowhere to tuck them away. And if you were to have the handles Velcroed together, they would be sitting in the middle of your back, which would not be very comfortable. And the way that I've been using the bag so far, I've just been wrapping these handles the long way around the bag and Velcroing them that way. Um, but then whenever you put your bag down, um, the handles are gonna be on the ground, they're gonna get wet. And it also kind of restricts the total volume of the bag because they're not really meant to be used around the back side of the pack like that. But they're just hardly long enough to do it. So I wish the North Face would find a better way to stow these um, handles away. But I do like that the bag comes with the option of like a duffel bag carry or the backpack carry. I think the largest anti-selling point of this bag when I first looked at it compared to the Patagonia is that it does not have a real like messenger style shoulder strap. And like I mentioned, that's why I ended up just using one of my own uh, duffel bag carry straps with little carabiners on the end of them. And these will just hook into those ballistic nylon straps, like I said. So I wish this bag came with that from the store. It does not, if you want to pick something up secondhand like I did, that has been a really good option so far. And I carry this thing like a shoulder bag all the time. So that's uh, just about everything on the exterior. Let's get into the interior of this thing now, which is another uh, con of this bag, honestly, is that if you're using it like a backpack, to be able to open up the main storage compartment, you need to undo the clips and then be able to stow those straps away before you can really main get to the main axis of this bag. They're nice, big YKK zippers. A good purchase on there and they feel sturdy and durable. So now that we're into the main part of the pack here, we'll see that we have a really big mesh pocket for organization. That has been where I've been keeping all my gym equipment, like jump rope, snacks, protein bars, things like that. And then uh, the nice thing about this double is that it has a, a storage divider in the middle. And uh, these can be either removed or changed around just by undoing these little paracord clips. Um, I have found that these clips come undone on their own, so it can just kind of uh, be floating around in there. But it has also been nice to be able to use this divider to separate work clothes from gym clothes and gym equipment. Just have a little bit more organization in there. Um, most cases, I just have this thing laying flat and you'll never know it's there. And then other than that, this is the main compartment of the bag where you have uh, that shoe storage option on this side, which does take up a decent amount of it. But being a 42 liters, I've been able to fit a ton of stuff in here like uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and uh, about four sets of clothes, gym equipment, everything like that. So 42 liters really is a nice size for this pack, and uh, I've uh, been very happy with it so far. So there are no other internal pockets. It's just a nice big open space. And uh, that brings me to the point of saying what I think this bag would be best used for. Like I said, the backpack carry function has its problems with those handles on the side kind of just flopping around. Um, the laptop section isn't really big enough to fit most laptops, so it doesn't really uh, hit those needs. But I see this bag being used as like a gym bag, duffel bag, um, a travel bag, but the way to optimize it would be to get a shoulder strap kind of like I did to make it more functional. Um, all those downfalls that I've talked about so far are why I picked up that Patagonia MLC 30 liter bag. That one um, I think does a better job from the store at performing the functions it was designed to. 
But that was just a quick overview of this guy. I'm gonna use it for a couple of months and see if it grows on me or not. And I'll give you a review on that later. Also, if you are subscribed, you will be seeing the uh, a Burley Stock Inditac first aid kit video coming out pretty soon. I got uh, several requests to do a review on that guy. So I should be able to get to that pretty soon. So stay posted. And also, if you're interested in the long-term review of this bag, I'll be coming out with that in a few weeks, as well as a comparison between this and the Patagonia MLC 30 liter pack. So until then, please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I intend on expanding some of the content of my channel to be more than just bags, but also other gear and almost like academic functions as well. So stay tuned. And until then, please be safe and try to challenge yourself with something new every day. See you soon.